So let me play Yasser Kari's video. Zoroastrians, from our perspective, they worship fire. Now I say this, Zoroastrians don't agree with what I said. They don't say, they would say we're not worshiping fire. And from their perspective, they don't consider it worship. From our perspective, when you present offerings and you bow down and you consider fire to be holy and whatnot, we call this ibadah. From our perspective, they are worshipping. From their perspective, they say they don't worship. Zoroastrians, Zoroastrians, from our perspective, they worship fire. Now I say this, Zoroastrians don't agree with what I said. They don't say, they would say we're not worshipping fire. And from their perspective, they don't consider it worship. From our perspective, when you present offerings and you bow down and you consider fire to be holy and whatnot, we call this ibadah. From our perspective, they are worshipping. From their perspective, they say they don't worship. Zoroastrians... <laughs> you you heard what what Yasir Kadi said, right? They are judging Zoroastrians, saying that from their perspective, they are not worshiping the fire. They bow down to it, they give offerings to it, and they do whatever, 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 right? He says from Zoroastrians' perspective. But from them, the Mushrik's perspective, they, the Yasir Kadi and the Sunnis and everybody, they think, they know that they are worshipping, that is Ibadah, right? Now, bring it into Islam also. You go to the Kaaba, you bow down to it, you kiss it, you, you lick it, you adore it, you cry to it. And yet, the Arabs in charge there, they don't even allow you to go inside. And your foolishness, you are based in Ghana, you are based in USA, you are based in Japan, saying you are praying and facing this building. Are you a fool? Do you think God lives in Saudi Arabia? Do you think God lives in Saudi Arabia? For people with a shallow mind, don't think I'm against Saudi Arabia, no? What I'm telling you is that you will not find one single verse in the Quran where God says you should pray to that building. You should bow down to that building. You should go and kiss that building. He only said go and visit it. The Hajj means a journey to a sacred place. You go and visit it. That is it. He never said go and kiss it. Go and bow down to it. He didn't ever say you should pray facing it. There's no one single verse in the Quran where God says pray and face Kaaba. If there's a verse, let, let anybody come and face me one on one. Wallahi, I'll give you thousand euro free of charge if you can prove a verse to me where it says you should pray and face Kaaba, or you should bow down and face Kaaba, or you should come and kiss Kaaba. Wallahi, I'll settle you. You see how foolishness, indoctrination, have made people dumb and foolish. He, Yasir Kadi, is telling you that from their perspective, they can they know Zoroastrians are worshipping the fire because they bow down to it. They give offerings to it. You, the Mushrik, Yasir Kadi, you also go to Saudi Arabia, you bow down to this building, you kiss it, you adore it, you cry to it. Is that not what they do? Let me show you some pictures if you think I'm just manipulating people here. For those who are watching, mostly they watch you watch the live Hajj activities. Look at the look at the building. That is the Kaaba. When we say Kaaba, Kaabati, that is the cube you see. It's a cube. It's a house, right? Now, they are facing it, bowing down towards it, and you can never find a single verse in the Quran where God asks you to do this. They are bowing down, facing this building, praying to it. But when you ask them, the foolish mushriks will tell you, no, we don't pray to the Kaaba. <laughs> we don't bow down to the Kaaba. We don't kiss the Kaaba. We are there for God. Are you, are you nuts? If you are there for God, God asks you to do this rubbish. 
You are there for God. They even painted the name of Muhammad Rasulullah on the building. They write the name of God and then they write the name of the Rasul Muhammad there. You see how people are adoring it, touching it, kissing it. Now this is what is going on. You see, that is what you have in the modern day, what they call Islam. And that is not the real Islam. That is the fake Islam they have given you.